We are in another episode of uh, Conversations with Designers. And today we are in Cebu with some of the designers in Cebu. And we're going to talk about how they form the design community in Cebu. Hi, I'm Francis, um, co-founder of Abstract. I, I run a small uh, digital product design agency. Um, prior to that, I worked at Simf as a uh, design director for, and I've been the, with them for like five years. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Carl De La Cruz. Um, I managed before um, the Cebu XD community, but now I'm hands off with the community, but I still go through events and to meet people. And I'm a user, UX designer, user experience designer, and I used to work at Lexmark before, and now I'm doing just freelance work. Um, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a project manager at Simf. Yeah. Oh, and Simf is a web design and development company. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kenneth. Um, I'm a senior UX designer at Arcanis. Um, Arcanis is a uh, is an uh, web development app, the application development. Basically, we're a software house. Yeah. So before we, before you, uh, so before there was a UX community here in uh, Cebu. What was it like? <laughs> so it, 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 right. So it was very funny because I think there was a meetup. Was it on Facebook? No, no, before Pana. Like, what's it like before the meetup? Oh, before the meetup. Oh, it was like the Wild West here. Everybody is... There was no... There was no design community except for... Uh, uh, no, like visual. UX design. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was very visual. visual. It was the t-shirt. That, okay. Yeah, it, it was all... Um, <laughs> it was all by Edsel, which is a design event. It was for artists. And it was called Design Ubeck, and it was recurring for a couple of years. And... There weren't really any events relating related to like UX or UI, and yeah. So one day we decided, how about we do like a meetup or figure out something. <laughs> so was that the start? How, how did it trigger? Uh, based on just what I know, because um, the founders of Cebu XD, um, Cebu the Cebu UX community, started at Luxmark. Um, I, I don't want to get you know get credit for it, but. Um, it was um, from Lexmark, and one of our co-founders, uh, he said, like, someone in the U.S., he said, like, why don't you create a community there? Because Lexmark was trying to bring in UX designers because it, it was growing in the U.S., and they wanted to uh, pull in talents from Cebu or in the Philippines, but they couldn't find anything in Cebu. So one of them, they said, okay, why don't you create a group in there and uh, call it whatever you like, but it's it's supposed to be like a simple meeting of UX designers, and uh, and that's where, where it started. Okay, Ashley was there on the first... I was there on <laughs> the first coffee. day. We had coffee, so it was a, it was a random Starbucks meeting. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a random yeah. Starbucks meeting, so... so, random, so yeah. you, know, you know when we started in UX Philippines, it was also just a bar. Oh, it's a bar? <laughs> we okay. just went to a bar. <laughs> we should do bars next We should bars next time. Bars next time. <laughs> Instead of coffee, we'll yeah, do right. bars. <laughs> so you guys, guys. I mean, uh, I guess I'd ask to... Uh, so, have you been working as UX uh, practitioners before the community started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how? What was it like without, you know, the community? Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very lonely. Um, so, let's say, I think all of us have been working in UX for a fair number of years, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we all remember whether you were freelancing or whether you were working in a company that you were trying. It, it, it's like this feeling of you're trying. You're trying to do something more than visual design, yeah, but but the expectations that everyone else has of you is visual design, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is all they're looking for. It's like, why are you doing all this other work when we just need your mock-ups? <laughs> and it's like, because I have to know what what to mock up. I have to have this data before yes. I do my mock-ups. Like, can't you just yes. make it look pretty? Just make it a problem of a UX yeah. person. Uh, yeah, yeah. But which is actually not new to me because I started in advertising. Yeah. So I was a visual designer first. Like all, like a lot of UX people, I was a visual designer first before I was a UX person. So 
I mean, it was like that. It was lonely. It was like an uphill struggle. No, you, d- you didn't have anyone to talk to. Oh, it's so it's really depressing. Huh? Hell, what the hell, what the hell? <laughs> but now I have yeah. friends. Now you have friends. <laughs> and then I remember because I joined in the second time and that was like when people were inviting and Ellie was there and Micah was there and that was oh, the first... That, that, that's the second, that, that's the second yeah. time. Yeah. The next yeah. one, we, they had, we had catering. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. That, 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 that's the best, the yeah. most that's fanciest meal. Yeah. Tell them you food. Yeah, but actually, food. <laughs> because... The, I, I had the same thinking with what others were thinking before like oh UX mostly you're doing wireframes you're doing mockups you're doing yeah, this yeah. very shiny design and then when Ellie was there and Micah was talking about oh why, why now they're talking about behavior now they're talking about all these other aspects of knowing the users and not necessarily visual yeah, and yeah. that's when I like wow this is really like I'm, this is this is really something. good. <laughs> yeah. Oh something. really? That was yeah, yeah. That was the second, first time. Second. Yeah, second, second time. But the the first time was actually just you know yeah, gathering. Yeah, it was just a coffee was, thing and Starbucks. But the second time was actually talking more really into like the whole process of UX and not necessarily the visual design. Mm. And I, I really remember that at that time. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it was pretty cool. cool. So when when you eventually so you were, you started that was the trigger. Yeah. Was that the trigger for, for creating the crea- creating the community? I think it was. I think it started. It 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 flew because of the dedication of the Lexmark UX team. Um, it was yeah, Charles especially. Yeah. So the yeah. Charles flew. Charles. Hi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <By> Charles. <laughs> I miss you, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, in the beginning, balik <laughs> Max. Well, actually, it's from what I remember, no. Charles came in after Chester and Cecil. Yeah. Chester and Cecil. Yeah, so it was Chester and Cecil first, who were also UX practitioners in in Lexmark, and they did the. We had like a meet up first in Starbucks, and the next one was in Lexmark building, and I think the next one was in Power Mac Power, Center. Power Mac. Yeah, and I think you were there also in the third meet up and one in Sim. oh yeah we did yeah, one we in did Sim. Another one. so there was really um, spearheaded by Chester and Cecil in the beginning and then you know the more the people started attending and the more people who felt the loneliness I started actually also creating the community yeah. uh-huh. because I saw I, sh- I saw a lot of web designers but not a lot of the what the UX side they, they were talking mostly about UI and not yeah. about the research the experience side so I, I feel you <laughs> I really feel you people felt lonely enough that they really felt grateful for the community and so they volunteered yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about what were the 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 pains or the initial Okay. Ako, ikaw. Uh, that you had to counter. Ako na lang, ikaw ang I'm the initial, I ikaw ang second. Because uh, we got a pro organizer here. Yeah, She's yeah, yeah. Ashley. Yeah, so, expert level. If, if you know Startup Weekend, yeah, or, expert level. Um, so tech stars, yeah. geeks at the beach. Yeah, yeah. We got this Ashley, girl here. Ashley's uh, Ashley is like an outlier. Yeah, yeah. Because she's kind of, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to speak for you, but I, you're kind of extroverted. Whereas everyone else is like, I just want to stay in my room. <laughs> With your face, <laughs> like I just want to stay in my room. But so Ashley, she helped. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, basic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ashley is the glue. The glue. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 kicks us out of our rooms and gets us out. And gets mad at you. Where's my collaterals? Where's yeah. my yeah, venue? She's, she's ruthless. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so don't mess with her. <laughs> so that was, uh, those were the initial. Yeah, those were the initial. It, it was yeah. so I was already volunteering for other communities, yep. yeah. and then Chester and Cecil, you know, reached out and asked for help. And then you know, I couldn't help but like it because I used to be a freelance designer, and I still use, you know, the thinking of the experience as as I do work. But I'm in no means a UX professional. Actually, <laughs> But still claim that uh, we still say that we are not UX professionals. But yeah, oh, yeah I feel okay. I feel what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I have it. Fine, then it's imposter syndrome. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but then um, because it was a space, it was a topic that I was interested in, and it was a space I was comfortable in. So you know, it kind of just did made sense to help and and to organize things. And um, for a while, it was. 
a small group I think like and people were going in and out yeah. you know like uh, basta for as long as we could do something whenever at least a community member would speak up and say hey it would be good if we had a, a boot camp about UX 101 for yeah, example yeah, yeah. then that's when it would start the conversation of hey what can we do if yeah, yeah. you know this is the demand da 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 and, uh, yeah go so one of the things also is like we, we you brushed up on imposter syndrome was that us when we were starting out with UX we also didn't really know like like we were not expert with UX so to be able to put up a community and do events and to speak about UX is very like scary for us yeah. so when I Until first now <laughs> <laughs> it's still scary because <laughs> uh, at that time like um, people were we were looking for speakers actually that was one problem we, yeah. we had like we maxed out all these speakers that wanted yeah, to like talk you because spoke, you spoke. yeah I spoke about at that time you uh, user research and then I was thinking like oh what my god I'm not really good with user research. <laughs> I know a bit of research but I'm not really that good and then some people we 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 told them like okay you can just talk about anything like we talked to um, Kay Batikin. Uh, she was in Design Week. She she's a furniture designer. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, and then oh, yeah, we, we the holy cow, no? yeah holy cow, and then yeah. we we brought her in. So it was a, a meeting of different minds. But I actually envy that. I, I wish I was here when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so the, but the good thing about that was that when we it was like oh we have other we didn't know because we were in our own circles. Yeah. But when we talked about talk to other people then we met other people who were doing this discipline like we didn't know that there was a UX copywriter or, yeah, yeah. or yeah, uh, yeah, UX yeah, so yeah. yeah I was pretty so, shocked when I found out yeah. yeah and then I think uh, UXPH was also very supportive um, I remember we had an event we where we wanted to bring it here yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 sorry we were one of the there were plans that were actually conversing. how, how yeah. could yeah, we do yeah. it yeah. We, we backed actually me and Ashley were, were there yeah. but we, we backed but out at the end because you had chicken pox I remember the last week so I was I supposed that. to MC the yes. 2018, 2018 UX page conference in Manila. I think it was 17. But the, uh, 2017, yeah. Because yeah. I brought the whole thing. I canceled I think you meeting. messaged yeah. the group. Yeah. Right? I messaged the group. I, I actually <laughs> saw you there too. 2017. But the 2017 one. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I missed the 2018 one because I was busy. Uh, I was in 2018. You yeah. guys were in 2017. And then you messaged us that you And I remember the reason why why it wasn't Cebu because when we we brought in Ashley, the first question she had was actually do people are willing are people willing to, to pay fly, yeah, to, fly to fly to Cebu yeah, yeah, yeah. or can we just do it in Manila it's yeah. like okay <laughs> yeah but I, one, one of the things that we were thinking back then is it'd be nice to do it in a beach yeah. right yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. experience design yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, eventually maybe eventually we might yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, why not yeah. 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 the weather's not cooperating right? yeah, yeah. 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 it's September in these months now is that good but yeah that was also um, it was also, I think, so in organizing this one, oh, the, yeah. the current... So, uh, yeah. so yeah. we had now, finally, we are here in... Yes. Uh, yeah, UX, in Cebu, in the UXPH Road, Road Show. Show. How has things changed? How uh, are we able to do this? I think Francis can mm. talk more about um, yeah, yeah. our shock. Mm. So, <laughs> so so how did we, like, you know, price all right. it? And so, very interesting story. Um, I think Aldrich was reaching out on the page yeah, on yeah. CBXT. I think he was I, I asked it to you. <laughs> yeah, so, the, chatted, so like, hmm. said, okay, contact friends. So, so, so he was trying to get hold of someone to like, uh, to organize the whole thing. And like, these guys are like passing around until they they passed me to Aldrich and I'm like hmm <laughs> I, so, you, so you were volunteered <laughs> yeah I was volunteered call it what it yeah. is he was the sacrificial lamb I was the sacrificial lamb I wasn't okay. even was like part of, of the court team yeah, just, but you know yes. I had I, thank you thank you I always much. had this okay. <laughs> no, I, I always had this like um, I'm, I'm passionate about building the community um, I, I've organized meetups and events at least once a year for the past four years yeah. and it's um, like having UXPH here in Cebu I'm like dude like why not like, it's the only time like there's no other time yeah. so and we're bringing all these people like yeah. we didn't yeah, even expect Ali to be here yeah I didn't expect yeah. you to come here I did here, not like, wow. expect Ali <laughs> <laughs> I saw so Ali on the elevator I said look that's Ali <laughs> You're here. We didn't expect the number of people yeah. from Manila yeah. coming over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I was just talking to Ashley about that, and it's like, 
this is not some this is not some weekend uh, thing where people just oh, I'm not doing anything this Saturday. I might hop over to this yeah, whatever it was, yeah. UXPH. This is a paid event, and so you know that the interest is actually uh, at least genuine, right? Yeah. And so. Um, to have a full house, I, I think that that gives you a good gauge of what the interest level is yeah. of UX. Yeah. I'd like to. Um, I think we also have some people from not from Cebu and not from yeah. Manila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bohol, Dumaguete. Really? Bohol, Dumaguete. Yeah, we have Bohol and Dumaguete. Bohol and Dumaguete. Oh, Dumaguete. Here. Yeah. So you need to bring UXPH also to yeah, 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 to those uh, areas. Yeah, let, let's let's go. <laughs> I think part of the success for today is really. Um, most of the people in the org, I think all of the people actually in the org organizing team, they're, this is their first time doing an event, something like this. And it's actually also the first time I met them. Which, which, which in itself has a lot of uh, troubles and hiccups and hardships, no? Yeah. There's a big communication yeah. gap because you're yeah. doing it remotely. But what? But it's really interesting of like how why people would you know it's it's all volunteer work no one's getting paid but yeah, you can all volunteers. but you can <laughs> you can see how passionate people are and they're serious in you know contributing and building the community so really thankful to you, um, to these guys Sherry Totem um, those guys that are there uh, those guys that are Raph Rafi yeah, Edsel yeah. the core team yeah you guys, couldn't, guys couldn't make it without you guys so like really thank you to all the volunteers the point that you raised where it's it's really hard to do this because we're all working remotely separated like, this is uh, this is the perennial condition of our yeah, no. geography yeah. we're all a bunch of islands yeah. Yeah. we're separated by water and it's a problem that we need to solve if we're ever gonna go anywhere yeah so we might as well do it, right? Yeah. It's a design problem. It's a design problem. Yes, yes, yes. How do you get a bunch of people isolated? Well, not really isolated, but Wait, separate. separated uh, by logistical, you know, barriers. How do you get them all to work together and organize events? And how do you how do you organize events where it's accessible to almost everyone? Yeah. yeah. This is and a big so, step. Yeah. Probably it's, it's nice to hear also from from Davao. We'll yeah, be yeah, yeah. Later on, yeah. Later, later on. Yeah. Later on right? So Davao next. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Mark. the thing that we also did this time around was because the same with the question I asked you before, like, do people want to fly it? <laughs> so the first question that when Francis was like going to go to do this was like, how much are people willing to pay? Um, the usual amount for, you know, conferences like this in Manila are reach of like 4K plus, right? And I'm like, people are not going to. At Actually, least for in, our even, in, uh, even the higher, the more expensive ones in uh, the 20, 26. Oh shit! Oh wow! Oh, wow. The That's like rice, rice yeah. yeah, rice, rice in Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. There's another, there's a similar here in Manila. That's forgot the name. I think did you, did you some? There's also a digital Digi conference. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. So yeah. But, but we actually sh see the shift, right? Throughout yeah. The years. Yeah, like before, people would not pay a dime yeah. to to go to events. And like they would not be paying like. Only they, at the they end already deadline. Free yeah. And with free food. Yeah, they want a <laughs> free, yeah, yeah. free event crazy. with free <laughs> food. And XD. Yeah, 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 in but the now beginning. It's, it's, you're seeing it change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why we were all shocked. We were like, there's a sale? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, but we, to we be got, fair. We got sold out in like less than two weeks. Yeah, yeah, we got sold out. But, but to be fair, we did ask, we did like validate it like in person. Like we, one like of the. Like UXers, we validated <laughs> Yeah, we validated it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah so, so the assignment was each core member would ask like five people how much yeah. their friends would pay. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah that. So that's why like 800 was the answer. Yeah, the, the max amount. So then um, that's when we added had to add the 50 for event bride fees and all that. But like that's how we came up with the existing price so that it's yeah as accessible as possible. And so that's the first thing. And then the, another observation was that nobody the mode of payment changed. It changed. It used to be cash and meetups. Yeah. But almost everybody PayPal. paid via PayPal. Yeah. Like almost everybody paid by credit, and I remember like, like yeah. we were just so yeah. shocked. Yeah. yeah. A few exceptions like two, three people. Yeah, two, three people cash. paid in cash, but yeah. everybody else paid online. Yeah. Nice, so we were just nice. like, there's a shift, really. Yeah, that that's nice. that, that's that's that that never happened sign. before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. So what's uh what do you think is in the future in the community here? What what are you looking forward to at least, Carl? At least what are you looking forward to? Is it okay to be honest? No, because there was a time I think two years ago uh, th this was uh, at that time that 
point where I I backed out of the I was supposed to go to Manila to help out on, to, on the 2017 but I had some personal you know things to to do and I didn't even tell Ellie what it was or didn't really even <laughs> I just backed out after Ashley said like she cannot go there I backed out and at that time I, I got chicken pox too I got chicken I, I got, I got chicken. Chicken. <laughs> chicken without a pox I got chicken I chickened out <laughs> no no I, I was a bit disheartened about the, uh, at that time because um, we've always been very active in the community telling them okay this is this is what UX is about. It's not really about visual design. I mean, there, it's uh, it's part of that, but the company or the industry has not, especially in Cebu, has not like has it catch up yet? Catch up. Yeah, I see. I, I see in Manila there's a lot now. Or maybe it was too early. Like, it was just I'm not, too early. I'm not sure, I, but I, at I that time, it, it might be. It it might yeah, be I, I got disheartened because we were trying to talk to uh, people, talk to. Uh, we had an event and the companies were we, you know, we included companies. We talked to them. We told them what what UX is about, but but still, when you go out there and you try to tell, oh, this is what we should do, and even sometimes Luxmark is is guilty of that. They we we do things very. Um, not with the, on the UX way, but now I'm seeing like okay, there's a. It's like kind of like a. It's like a like it goes very fast. It's like, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's evolving. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's evolving. But at that time, like I got really disheartened because like all the effort that we're that we're doing, and again, like still the industry is not catching up. So. But lately, yeah. right? The the banks yeah, are so now yeah, yeah, yeah. Union Bank. Oh, so Union different. Bank. There's a, our company, JG Summit, an old yes, company yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Union yeah, Bank. Union Bank. Is really this good. is a good time to be a UX designer, yes. guys. Yeah. 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 In, but it's it's all in Manila. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 a lot of people. Yeah, which is which is what you're doing now, Ellie here. Yeah, a lot of actually. So that one, I'm I'm thinking like the trend is really that. The industry is gonna wake up, although it's very slow here in the Philippines. But they're gonna be waking up to the importance of experience design, UX. Well, that's down to us yeah. as well as evangelists. Yeah. For I mean, there has to be a, some sort of evangelism. Some evangelists get get disheartened. Get <laughs> no, 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 I feel, I feel. Yeah. 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 So we, we all go through that. Yeah, we all go. They're not they're not gonna come to this just on their own. We, we, yeah. Someone has to tell them that yep. this is important. This stuff is important. Yeah. And before even like this this is like when we were all when I was first freelancing and I thought I was the only one, <laughs> and I was reading. I was, I was I was online. I was reading all this stuff, and it's like, why are we not doing this here? Yeah, you read articles from Alista Park. You you read articles yeah, from Alista Park, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, these people are talking about things that no one else here is talking about, mm. or at least I thought no one else here was talking about because I was the only one. I was alone, and then I met other people, and it's like, oh, you read the same stuff that I do, right? And that's how it starts it, but. Y you sort of start from that group, and but you can't expect other people who are outside of that circle, management, sales, yeah. even yeah. people in marketing who are outside of the actual developer slash designer group to, to hear about stuff like this. So um, events like this are very important. You, you have a lot of people here who are developers, and you, are also, you have also a lot of people here who are managers or just... Uh, I think you make decision a point. Like we need yeah. to invite not just designers exactly. and developers. Uh, otherwise, managers. it'll be just like a you know mutual admiration society yeah, type yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we're so cool. Oh, we're we're so patting cool. ourselves in the back. We're cool. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, it doesn't yeah, really yeah, help yeah, anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, there's advocacy and culture. As yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I think if I ever to add for the future, we need more volunteers. We <laughs> more people um, feeling the same pain or and wanting to act on it. To actually pay people. Or we make enough money yeah, to pay people. Yeah. Supporters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Click subscribe. So I click, click subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> hit the bell button. Hit the bell button. Hit the bell button. <laughs> Comment the section. So, yeah, yeah, let's make a maybe you make a video a series of what you guys are doing here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So last words. Uh, last before we have lunch. Uh, uh, before we younger. have lunch. Uh, Any last words of uh, invitation or 
to the community or, okay. or like say well to be honest we haven't planned our next event yet but yeah. we do uh, actively post it on Facebook yeah. uh, Cebu XD so it's facebook.com slash Cebu XD if I'm not mistaken um, it sh- you should see it it's a green logo that looks like a puso <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to rebrand okay. <laughs> eventually, we're, gonna re-brand. we're eventually oh, going to rebrand no. but for now it's, it's Cebu XD and with a green logo and white yeah. background that's us yeah. basically uh, we're just looking for um, passionate people who want to volunteer their time effort blood sweat and tears into like making the community better yeah. um, it's not all work yeah, it's, it's not, it's all, not work. all work it's all I mean, fun I mean, we're, we're getting <laughs> free lunch and at the same time I, I wouldn't have gotten my job if I didn't do this stuff yes. yeah. so I wouldn't have met Ellie we wouldn't have met Ellie we wouldn't have met each other yes. if yes. if we didn't do Sometimes it's a camaraderie yeah 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 and it, it, it's an opportunity for people to show other people what they're made of and so if you are the type of person who you know doesn't really believe in credentials and would rather display what it is yeah. you know how much you're worth or how walk go the walk. walk the walk then you know doing volunteer work for communities is the best way to go about it yeah. so yeah, yeah. Okay. thank you guys thank hey. you hey. Thank I hope you all enjoyed this episode of conversations with designers see you all next time when we fly to Davao bye <laughs>